so that if people want to access this afterwards, they'll be able to. Okay, okay we're recording. Great. Okay. So, Folcha Coheran. So, you know, Folcha means welcome in Irish. So, we're just opening up with a welcome to Ireland and welcome to our presentation, and thanks for coming. This is the agenda. These are the things that we're gonna get through this evening or lunchtime as it is for you. We're gonna look at Ireland. We're gonna look at Dublin. We're going to take a look at UCD just generally to give you an overview of that. The housing, which I know is always of great interest to students. For the times that are in it, we're gonna have a little look at the COVID-19 measures that are currently in place on the campus because that would be of interest to students who are planning on coming in the spring semester. We're also going to look at the cultural and social program that we've got organized for our students, which is great fun, the clubs and societies. And then we're going to put a spotlight on the various academic areas. So business, arts and humanities, social sciences, science and engineering. And then there'll be an opportunity at the end if you have any questions but if you want to interrupt us through the presentation, it's fine as well. If you've got questions that you, that you want to ask, that's absolutely fine. Looking first of all at Ireland. So there's Ireland over there at the very um, west of Europe, the little green island. We're really um, accessible to the rest of Europe. So we're a great gateway to European capitals. So if you come to Ireland during normal times that are not COVID times, you can go to all of the various capital cities throughout Europe. And it's all within an hour or two of Dublin. Uh, another really nice thing about Ireland is that we have a very young population. So our our services and our atmosphere is very young. 50% of the population are under 34. So for example, there'd be a lot of, when you go to stores and that in Ireland, there are a lot of student discounts and things like that because we're very geared towards looking after young people. Another really great thing about Ireland is that it's very safe. We're a number, which I know is of great interest to, to parents as well. Um, we are 10th on the global peace index, so that means that we are the 10th safest country in the whole world. We also have beautiful scenery, that there is a picture of the Cliffs of Moher, which is just one of the beautiful scenic spots uh, that we have in Ireland, but it's really pretty country. And another nice thing is that we're very happy people, very welcoming, and we are 14th on the world happiness index. A little bit more about Dublin. Dublin is located on Ireland's east coast. It's a really nice city in that it's compact, it's very easy to navigate, really easy to get to know Dublin. It's walkable and there's also great public transport. Oh, I see somebody's joining us. Let me just admit the other student who's, who's coming along to, to hear the presentation. So a little bit more about Dublin. We're also very accessible to the various other cities in Ireland. So Galway, Cork, Limerick and Belfast. We've got the best of both worlds in Dublin too. So we've got lovely mountains that are just about oh, half an hour away from campus. You can be in the most beautiful countryside and mountains. And then we've got beautiful beaches as well on the, the north side of Dublin. And as I mentioned in my last slide, Dublin Airport serves all of the European capitals and they're all just a very short flight away. And in a lot of cases, those capitals are served by Ryanair, which is a really cheap airline. So, so a lot of the students might head out on a Thursday uh, on Ryanair and get really reasonable flights and then be back to class by, by Monday morning after spending time in Paris or Rome or wherever. And then of course you can, you and you should explore Ireland as well because Ireland itself has got so much to offer. It's such a beautiful country. Anyway, the next slide is, okay, so this is my video slide, which, oh, 
Okay, so maybe it's going to work, Ellen. My colleague Ellen is giving me the thumbs up because sometimes this video doesn't work. So we'll give it a go. We'll see if it works. But this will give you an overview of UCD and sort of give you a sense of what the campus is like. If it works. A welcome away to you in Ireland, for we're famed around the world for our paid Rena Fortress. The miles, the coastline, the view, miles of smiles, music, culture, the fun. And we even have our own word for fun. Crack. 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 A welcome away to you in Dublin, the safe English speaking European capital city. A warm UCD welcome away to you at University College Dublin. Ireland's global university, based on a large Parkland campus in Dublin's embassy belt. The first choice destination for international students in Ireland. For the International Student Society is one of the biggest and most active on campus. Along with over 130 student societies and sports clubs. So you can really get involved and make friends from all over the world. We debate the world's big issues. Where your safety is your priority. Where there's hundreds of acres of space to explore. And we're committed to giving you the best possible campus learning experience. Blended with accessible distance learning tools and options. Where 42% of the faculty are international. And we foster a mindset of integration of different cultures across campus. Where a dedicated global experience team is here to help you get started. And safe modern residences to make you feel at home. Where we're all set to give you a Cade Miller Fortune. Where all that's missing is you. We look forward to welcoming you to your university, University College Dublin. Are you guys able to hear that? You, we, oh, that's great. Ellen is giving me the thumbs up. So it was I'm a little bit shaky, um, some of the connection, but I, I could hear it. Okay, well, hopefully Amy and Hannah could hear it too. Okay, now I'm trying to move to the next slide and I'm having trouble. <laughs> I'm going to hit this thing. Ah! I can't believe it actually moved. I need a hammer or something to move the thing. So this is the overview of UCD. That video kind of gave you a sense of what the campus is like. We are Ireland's global university, as was mentioned in the video. So 30% of the students who come to UCD are international from all over the world. 110 different countries are represented. The largest group is from the US though. And then second largest is China, India, and Middle East. You know, we've got a great diversity. But then 70% of the students are Irish students. So I, Irish students pick UCD as their top choice as well. The university was founded back in 1854. It's Ireland's largest and also most diverse university, as I said, diverse in its student body, but also in the academic programs that are on offer. We do have a beautiful campus on the doorstep of Dublin City, 350 acres um, and eight kilometers of woodland walks around the campus. So it's a really pretty campus. Um, but the nice thing about it is that it's not in the middle of nowhere. It is actually only three miles away from Dublin City Centre. So you get that lovely campus experience, everything self-contained on the campus. But yet, if you want to go into the city, you're right there very, very close to Dublin, and you can take the bus directly from the campus into Dublin city centre. So it's really a nice best of both worlds campus experience. This uh, slide shows you some of the campus facilities that you would have seen on that video. We have a lovely gym, state of the art gym. Um, and then down there, actually, we've got the picture of our health centre. So we do have doctors and counsellors and all those supports that you would expect at a large university in case you need that kind of help when you're when you're with us at UCD. The library is there and then our wonderful swimming pool as well. And this here shows you a little more on the student centre. Beautiful Olympic size swimming pool, sauna, jacuzzi, steam room, a cinema, dance studios, debating chamber, 
and and the, the drama theater as well so whatever interests you we've got the facilities on campus for you to be able to pursue that interest with us this slide shows you the UCD Global Lounge, and I did mention that we were Ireland's most global universities, so we do have a lot of facilities and services and events uh, for international students. So this is a really great place just to hang out. Irish students and international students would just kind of hang out in this kind of hub of activity, which is the UCD Global Lounge. We also have a lot of events that would take place there. So. For example, when American Super Bowl is on, we put it up on the big screen. And if you guys were interested in that, you could watch it. And you'd find students from other countries coming along too, if, if they wanted to watch it. But there's, there's that kind of international theme with, with everything that we do in the Global Lounge. And there's also Global Guides there for other students who can help you. And they're international in a lot of cases as well, so they can help you to navigate your way around the campus and the various services that are on offer. Okay, housing is always really important to the students who come over to us. We do have lots of really beautiful on-campus housing for over 3,000 students at the moment, and we're opening up some brand new housing in January as well. All the students have a private bedroom, and in most cases, you'd share in an apartment style living with three or four other students as well. So in some cases, you'd have your own bathroom. And then you'd, in all cases, you share the living area and a kitchen with three or four other students. So it's really, it's a really nice setup and we get fantastic feedback from students on how much they love the housing. Uh, it's also fully serviced and sheets and bedding is provided for you for when you move in. There's food stores there, the laundry, and then there's also a mini gym. So if you don't feel like going to the big gym in the big student center, you can actually work out in the mini gym in the residences if you want to do that. There's also a full res life program that's put on for, for students as well that they love engaging with. Just want to mention, now I don't know if you guys are thinking in terms of coming in spring 21, are you? Maybe, maybe, okay. Well, I'll just skim through this really quickly then because this is, this session is being recorded. So there could be some students who are listening to this session who are thinking of coming in spring 21. I just wanted to give you a kind of a sense of the fact that UCD is taking the pandemic very seriously. So we do have safety measures in place. We have symptom checking for students pre-departure and then that's continued through two weeks after arrival. At the moment, students traveling from the US do need to spend two weeks in restricted movement when they arrive in Ireland. That's a government regulation. It's the same for any country actually at the moment. Any, any visitor from any country at the moment has to self-isolate for, for the two weeks of restricted movement. In UCD, we organize a free uh, private transport from the airport to the campus for our students who are arriving in the spring semester. And then when the students arrive on campus, the on-campus housing is free of charge for their restricted movement time as well. We have lots of stuff that's organized virtually for students to engage in during restricted movement because we want students to keep as active as possible. You can take exercise so you can go around the campus. You can't leave the campus though for those two weeks while you're in that sort of quarantine situation, but you can get out and get a bit of fresh air, which I know is different to some countries. They don't allow that, but in Ireland and on the UCD campus, you are permitted to take exercise. The orientation will be online as well, because that's within the two weeks of restricted movement. And students, of course, will get the full health briefing as well to make sure that if they do get sick while they're with us, that they know exactly what they need to do to get tested. And, um, and all that is, is taken care of and is free of charge as well. So for you guys um, who are thinking of coming in another semester when hopefully this pandemic is going to be behind us. Your orientation will be in person and we have lots of great orientation activities for students. 
We also have a full cultural and social program that runs throughout the semester. Lots of different activities that you can get involved in. We bring you on all different outings. Actually, last weekend, we took the study abroad students who are with us at the moment, we took them kayaking and they had so much fun. I, I saw the photographs this morning and they really, really enjoyed it. And this weekend they're going cycling um, up in Phoenix Park, which is really um, on the other side of the city. So that's gonna be great fun as well. And we or, or, organize lunch and everything is taken care of. There's no charge for, for any of that. That's all included in the program fee. So you don't have to put your hand in your pocket for, for those kind of cultural events. And it is really good fun and a great way to meet other students. This here is just a few other uh, photos because we do go outside Dublin as well. So all those fun kind of that's up in the Burren, the Cliffs of Moher and all those various places that you can go to see in Ireland. And you can either go by yourselves or you can come on the cultural programme with us. Another thing that we really encourage students to do while they're with us at UCD is to get involved, make friends and have fun through the clubs and societies. There are so many clubs and societies, they're all um, available on our website. So take a look, there's so much stuff that you can get involved in. We encourage students to do it because it's a great way to meet students outside your apartment, outside your circle, outside, actually outside the school that you are studying in because the students who participate in the clubs and societies are across the university, a lot of Irish students. So it's a really great way to get to know other students. Okay, so I, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the various academic programs that are on offer at UCD on study abroad. The Quinn School of Business for business students. This is, we have a great school of business. It's Ireland's only SSB accredited business school. We have the triple accreditation, but for Americans, the ACSB is the American Association of Schools and Colleges of Business. So it's quite difficult to get that accreditation outside the US and not many business schools, international business schools have that accreditation, but the Quinn School of Business at UCD does. So it's really, it's a good place for business students to come and study. Um, it's very dynamic and innovative learning environment and experience, great business facilities there and a full range of undergraduate business modules offered across accounting, banking and finance, management, HR and employment, MIS and marketing. There's also the option to take two elective courses from other academic areas, including economics, because some of our business students like to take an economics elective, but then others prefer to take something like Irish history and culture, or something that they can't do at home in their own business school, something that's kind of got that Irish theme going. So there is an option to, to do those kind of electives as well. Quinn School of Business also offers scholarships worth a thousand euro for students who are successful in the application process. A little bit about arts and humanities. This is one of our biggest programs. The arts and humanities offers a very broad range of classes for students from any major. Subject areas there are the arts, the art history, classics, English history, Irish studies, languages, linguistics, and music. The students take, as with all our study abroad programs, the students take classes alongside the degree seeking students, as well as some dedicated classes for study abroad students that we offer, such as Ireland Uncovered, Music in Ireland and Reading Irish Literature. There's also an opportunity if, if any of you are interested in taking an arts and humanities class online while you're studying at your home institution, this could be something that students might be interested in doing if they're thinking of studying abroad at UCD and they want to have a taster of what the courses are like, you can take a course while you're still at your home institution before you come to UCD. Or you may decide you're not coming to UCD, you just want to take the online course. But uh, the Arts and Humanities College offers that as an option, which is really nice. Social sciences. 
So this here um, will give you the understanding for a wide range of careers across business, politics, nonprofit, and economics. And you can see there the list of various schools that are on offer, 10 different schools on offer within the College of Social Sciences. And then as with all our programs, there's a dedicated study abroad program manager within the College of Social Sciences. Uh, and then science itself, gosh, our science facilities are absolutely amazing. Very, very new, just opened in the last few years um, and stunning. Modern state-of-the-art building, dedicated undergraduate um, teaching facilities. The science curriculum is Ireland's largest and most diverse curriculum as well. And it is delivered by lecturers at the forefront of both teaching and research. If you are a science student, there's a curriculum mapping. So our, our science faculty would work with your faculty to make sure that you get the credit transfers and the curriculum mapping is done correctly for, for science students. It's the same for engineering, which is a, a slide that's coming up because we know that that is particularly important for science students. They stay on track for their degree at home. So our faculty are really good at working with the faculty at our partner universities to make sure that that happens. Another really cool thing in the science program is the intro to scientific research module. And in this module, the science study abroad students become active members of a research team and get to do actual research while they're uh, um, their study abroad. They get to put together a poster at the end of their experience, which then they can bring home and present to their, uh, their professors at home so they can see the great work that they, that they did while they were with us at UCD. And then the supports for the students, there's the peer mentoring and dedicated science staff. Engineering, largest engineering program in Ireland, at UCD offering a wide, wide range of engineering disciplines. Again, professional accredited programs which are internationally recognized. And as with all our programs, there's that option to mix the engineering courses with electives from other academic areas like Irish folklore, Irish history, or anything else that, that students want to dip into while they're with us. There's a dedicated program manager and Engineering have actually, actually just introduced a, uh, a research module, just like the science one, because of the success of the science module and how popular it is with um, study abroad students. Engineering have now launched a, a similar research module that the students will hopefully get a lot out of that as well. Again, students would be working with researchers on campus and they would have um, a takeaway in terms of a, a poster to, to bring back to their home university. Okay, so we're on to now the sort of housekeeping bit. <laughs> uh, we have the online application there. You can see the, the link. Our GPA requirement is three and above. Our application deadlines for semester one or full academic year normally May 15th and the spring is normally October 25th, but because of the year that's in it and that this is an unusual year, we've actually extended our application deadline for spring 21 to November 9th. So that application deadline has been extended this year. You see there I put down the various um, contact details of all the contact people within the various colleges, those dedicated area uh, support people within the colleges that can help you navigate the course registration process and applications and, and all that side of things. And then Ellen is there too. Ellen, who's on the call. She's, uh, Ellen is, is you, you, if you decide to apply to UCD, you'll get a lot of correspondence from Ellen. So Ellen, I think there's somebody else there in the waiting room, is there? Yeah, I just yeah. submitted another one. Okay. Hello. So I think we're coming to the end of our presentation now. Yes, we are. So I'm going to stop the share and see who's here. Okay, so we do have somebody else who's joined us. Guys, we have a few minutes. So do you have any questions for us? 
you want to tell us um, your academic areas? Hannah, what's your academic area? Um, I'm majoring in graphic design. Graphic design. Oh, cool. yeah. Okay. So I'm wondering, would you then, are you thinking of studying graphic design abroad or would you be open to, to other areas? Um, I've talked with like an advisor here and I've like talked about if I wanted to take classes in that or just work on like general electives, I guess. Yeah. Sort of things that would architecture general. be of interest to you? Because there's, um, um, yeah, the architecture program might be the closest to what you're doing. But if you wanted to go into the arts program or the social sciences, there's all those elective type um, options that might be interesting to you. Okay. Amy, do you, what's your um, academic area? Biochemistry. Biochemistry. Okay. So you would be science. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we do have a biochemistry school of, of that. And um, I think our, our new, who's just arrived, I won't, I won't put you on the spot, Celia. <laughs> um, I, think ended, I think we do have graphic design classes at UCD. Are they, which school offers those? It's media, so that's um, mm. social sciences, right? Or social science, yeah. But basically, if you're curious to know if we have um, modules that would be equivalent for you, what you need, um, I can put in the chat our module finder and you can search from keyword or subject to see if like the classes that you're meant to be taking at Duluth would line up with something at UCD. Um, yeah. So, and we do have the most diverse curriculum. So you should be able to find something that's close to what you need, but I'll go ahead and put that in the and that way you can double check. You see, it's great that I have Ellen on this call because we have such a diverse <laughs> curriculum at UCD. I'm not even, I've been working at UCD for 20 years. <laughs> and uh, there's still some areas that I, yeah, I didn't know that we had. So that's, that's fantastic. Thanks, Ellen. You're great. Um, so if you don't have any other questions? Do you have any sort of general questions about the experience? Um, or if you want to pop something in the chat there, anything that, any burning questions about UCD and about studying in Ireland? Do you um, have like any scholarships for study abroad or is that just through our school in Minnesota? Um, well, it would be probably, we, the only area actually where we have scholarships at the moment is in business. And I think engineering, aren't they adding one this year? But I don't know if that they're would... looking into it. I yeah. haven't, I haven't heard for sure. Okay. They are looking into it. Uh, the other thing that I didn't mention that might be of interest is that we've got a lot of summer programs as well. I just concentrated in this presentation on our semester programs, but we do have a lot of summer options as well in Irish studies, sports studies, um, summer internship program as well in business, but actually they're gonna open it to, to other uh, students as well beyond business. So if you were interested in doing some kind of an internship, an international internship, you could do that through the business school. Um, we have a new data science uh, summer program that's going to be launched next summer. So there's, there's a lot going on in the summertime as well, if you wanted a shorter program. But I just concentrated on the semester programs today. Um, I also have another question about like living. Do we usually live with like other international students or like people that actually like lived in Ireland or Europe? Mostly it's with other international students if you're living on campus. Um, but having said that, you know, it, it still is possible to live with Irish students, but, it, but usually it is with, with students from other countries normally because uh, over 50% of the housing goes to international students because it's harder for you guys to, to find housing than it is for an Irish student to find housing. So we dedicate 
at least 50% of our housing goes to international students. So that's why you'll find that proportionately there are a lot more international students in the on-campus housing than Irish students, than the proportion of students in the, in the whole university. Um, I'm actually a economics major, so I was just wondering um, what you, what kind of scholarships and stuff you were maybe talking about with the business school? Oh, okay. So the business school offer a 1000 euro scholarship. They have an application process. If you are interested, we can put you in touch with, and maybe Ellen, would you put Anya's email address in there into the chat box? Oh, yeah. You're better at that stuff than I am. <laughs> um, but you could get in touch with Anya Nirian. She's the business study abroad manager, and she could give you the full information. I'm pretty sure it's on the website as well under mm. the Quinn School of Business, if you wanted to look into that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so guys, we might finish up there if you don't have any other questions. And it was absolutely great. I, I'm so delighted that the, the three of you joined us. <laughs> I do hope you join us in UCD sometime in the future. And thank you so much for, for your attention and for listening to all that. You could listen back to the recording if you want to hear uh, all that information again, or if you want to skip forward and, and listen to the bits that are about your academic area. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Take care. Bye-bye. We'll finish Bye. up there. Bye. Thanks, Ellen, for being